So now in this video we have a couple of red LEDs in series right there being lit up. So there's going to be about 10 milliamps of current flowing through the circuit. This power supply is not as accurate as a multimeter, but there you can see we got uh, 5 volts coming out of here. And uh, it says CV so you know it's maintaining uh, 5 volts. That's the maximum current that uh, this will let go through. If uh, the circuit wants more current than that it will lower the voltage until you get uh, the current. So it would say CC then instead of CV. But in any case, there you can see the current is lower than the maximum we set there. And uh, it's not as accurate as a multimeter though. And uh, so it may be a spec shy of uh, 10 milliamps. Maybe one reason why you see nine there. Um, but in any case, it's not as accurate as a multimeter. And uh, so we have uh, the circuit there. The goal uh, for this video was to get a 2 volt reference point and a 4 volt reference point. So each of these uh, red LEDs drops about 2 volts. It has a forward voltage of 2 volts. While it's forward biased, the direction it conducts more easily, it needs about 2 volts before it will even start uh, conducting. And then it builds up about 2 volts across it while it is uh, conducting. And uh, so two of them in series, they total about 4 volts that uh, they are dropping. So we have about one volt across the uh, 100 ohm resistor because out of that five volts we lost four volts as far as the resistor is concerned one volt across it. So that gives us 0 0.01 amps which is the same as 10 milliamps of current right there. The resistor is not going to get uh, hot at all. You take the voltage times the current and uh, you get the wattage 0 0.01 uh, watts and uh, the resistors I have are rated for 0.25 watts which uh, should still be below 1 point or point 0.125 watts and there you can see that's not even a tenth of that so the resistor is not getting very hot at all I thought I would I mentioned that so in any case those uh, voltages will take a multimeter uh, measurement uh, next they're just reference voltages so you want not power something at 4 volts that would throw it off and uh, lower the voltage even more um, instead you can use that as a signal to uh, something in this video, we're just going to use it as a signal to the multimeter to tell us what the voltage is at that point. And here we have my multimeter. So this is an auto ranging meter, which makes it uh, very easy to measure voltage. And uh, it could be either uh, DC or AC. So there you can see we got uh, DC. If we want to measure AC, we can just uh, press that uh, right there. And uh, the red probe, uh, black probe is always calm for this meter red probe. We only move it for high current and we're not going to measure high current in this video And uh, so we're good to go there And uh, so it will adjust to the range if there's a range you want to set it to a voltage higher than you expect to measure But it's not end of the world if uh, you go a little bit lower So there you can see we're a little bit shy on the uh, 5 volts right there use a little bit lose a little bit in the uh, wires there So there you can see we're a spec shy of 2 volts right there. Again, when current's a little bit lower, it'll be down a little bit lower. And uh, when current is uh, a bit higher, it'll go up a little bit. And uh, so you don't get a perfect 2 volts. But uh, we're getting pretty close right there, as you can see, at uh, 10 milliamps. So that's the two LEDs together now, uh, 4 volts. So we could have circuitry that uh, will know, basically, that this is 2 volts and can respond when something else goes to do 2 volts or something and uh, again we could do the same thing with 4 there and uh, so we could add more LEDs to get you know 6 and 8 or something if we had more supply voltage so now this is the voltage of the two LEDs and as we could see we got uh, 2 for that one 4 for the two of them or we could just uh, go across this one and see across this one we have uh, 2 volts and uh, so that's not how you would get a reference voltage. Usually the reference is in uh, relationship to ground right there, zero volts. So this is zero volts, we consider. That's uh, two volts up there, uh, four volts up there, and across the whole circuit, five volts right there. And if you really want to uh, measure current more accurately, so again, this is an auto ranging meter. All I have to do is set it to milliamps. So we calculated that this is a 10 milliamp circuit. If this had numbers, you would go higher than uh, 10 milliamps, the uh, next higher one. Um, but in any case, we had to open up the circuit because the current that flows through the circuit also has to flow through the meter in order to uh, measure the current. And 
then we just bridge the gap right there and there you can see looks like uh, we're probably a little bit shy of uh, 10 milliamps or 9.3 it looks like uh, right there so when uh, the power supply said uh, 0 0.09 milliamps that was uh, actually not as inaccurate as I thought um, there you can see it says though 0 0.008 so again it's usually about one or two milliamps off from what the meter uh, says but the meter is made to be uh, more accurate and um, one way we can figure out why we have some of the disparity with uh, the current flow is we could uh, measure the resistance of the resistor so you don't want uh, current to be flowing through the resistor when you measure it you don't want a voltage across it and we have that right now because that's open right there so uh, when we attach the probes the uh, the meter is going to give the resistor a voltage and uh, there's no outside voltage to influence it and actually it looks like we are pretty uh, spot on with the 100 ohms uh, right there and uh, so I'm surprised the current was as short as it was um, but we had a little bit of supply voltage lost and uh, it might get a little worse or something well currents flowing through because where we have all these other connections it adds a little bit of resistance so that might have been why it lowered the current so if we really wanted to uh, put in a lot of work and uh, figure things out we could uh, find out where we got that extra current loss but uh, that's actually uh, pretty good these are cheap uh, resistors here they're supposed to be about one percent uh, higher or lower than their rated value or they could be their exact rated value um, but uh, these cheap ones are usually a little bit more or a little bit less than one percent off and uh, so that's uh, pretty good now um, so we got it set to uh, measure resistance I think this will turn off after a while but uh, you should always turn it off when you're done especially turn it off if you have it set to measure a uh, current because if we thought it was set to measure voltage and we go across there um, I have the power supply limited to uh, 20 milliamps uh, that's one reason to protect it but if the power supply wasn't uh, limited we could get unlimited current basically but in any case more current than uh, what the meter is able to measure it would blow a fuse inside we'd have to change the fuse um, but uh, so main takeaways turn the meter off when you're done get it off of measuring current especially so um that's it hope you enjoy make sure you check out one of the other videos i'm posting the screen and check out the links down below they all help out a lot i'll see you on the next video